Today I'm going to show you a day in my life as a village boy. This is a typical African village boy. Enjoy. One thing you'll be surprised at is the paradox here at the village. Life is hard and easy at the same time. This is how the day starts. That's me, that's my brother, and my little sister. Yeah. This is one of the things I hate doing while at the village. I hate slashing the grass. Come on, I'll have to do it for over two hours. But there's nothing I can do because, you know, my dad is around. So, here's where the chicken sleep. This one. And here, there's another one. So they come in two shapes. Doom, Sometimes I wonder if I'm a donkey. Just after cutting the grass, I'll have to fetch water for 30 minutes. This water is going to be used for the entire day. And I do it by myself. I've not even had anything since morning. I have to work, 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 work. Work under the sun. And work, work till you die. Now I think I know why in Kenya we have a low life expectancy. This is the reason. Once again, another work. I'll have to prepare breakfast for the whole family. Oh my god. Now here is where I wish I could go back to the age of seven. When asked, I'll say I want to be a programmer. That is what I would say. We are going to boil some water, as you can see. Uh, bathing water for my mom so that she can have bath and uh, go to a funeral. Summer high, summer high. This bucket is around 20 liters, 20 liters of water. So firewood is not a problem. I think I need more wood for the firewood. These woods are not enough. So I'll decide to bring these ones and splice them. I think this one will do. Let's see. I think I've just spliced it into two. But I still have to continue splicing it. Let's see. Right after splicing the wood, I felt a sharp pain on my back. I gave more attention to my intestines and ignored my vertebral column. If you catch my drift. Oh, my back is just broken right now. Ouch! I'm going to prepare tea and there's this lemon grass. So we don't have it here. So I'll just have to cross the road in another homestead and bring the lemon grass to prepare some tea. Me. Sincerely speaking, the first time I heard the term lemongrass, I asked myself, what kind of grass is that? The good old lady was kind enough. Well, she lent me the lemongrass, not the lemon with the grass. By the way, the lemongrass was just an excuse. I was, you know, trying to get a breath, leaving the work for a bit. So, I wanted to spend the whole day drinking my tea, but I was just given five minutes by my mom. After taking the tea, she told me, hey, I'll leave that. Now, get to another one. When having tea, I remembered what Elon Musk said. Maybe I should run with him Mars and escape all this one. The story of Elon Musk is almost too incredible to believe. Colonizing Mars. Seeing mom leave with her friend, I knew I was going to be the happiest man on earth. At least, being the happiest man on earth. Now, this meant that I was going to have eternal rest. Well, not that kind of eternal rest you might think of. Not ready to die yet, just working. Of all the work that I had to do, I think this one was the easiest. I just had to point the stick on the ground and make some slight movements. Because the it still didn't like it. By now you are thinking, I don't like work. I'm the kind of person who does not work. Not really. I just believe in the future. I believe in the power of writing code. A virtual world where people would use digital avatars to live, work and play online. He called it the metaverse. A blend of meta meaning beyond and verse from the word universe. So most of the African villages around here, they don't have boreholes in their homes. Now this is what they use. 
this water pump can serve up to 50 villages. It's so deep and it's also heavy. So after filling the jerry cans, you put them on the big barrels and then you push them to the homes. It's such a heavy work. Let's see. buy some vegetables for lunch time but unfortunately we are not allowed to come in so we'll just have to stay outside and see while outside i had a genius plan maybe i should go and hijack those bananas and so i decided to leave and hijack while pursuing the mission hijack bananas the garden boy came by oh my plans are crashed and so i pretended to tell please bring me my change this is 20 shillings skumawiki while going to bring my change, the young man reminded me of Moses in the wilderness and immediately I was convicted of the sixth commandment, Thou shalt not steal. Now that we have the vegetables, I think it's time we should go and bring some tomatoes and some onions. And before we go, before we go let me tell you this. This is where I did my KCPE, that is standard 8. It's called Ogea Primary School. These are some of the children. Mission to provide best learning environment for our pupils to enable them to succeed in life. Am I successful? Maybe. Oh. Bravo. <laughs> is a Swahili word for onions and tomatoes. Amazing fact, you didn't know, during the 200 years of the colonization of the Kenyan coast by the Portuguese, Swahili was developed. Swahili is a hybrid language that contains Urdu, Persian, Bantu, Portuguese itself, and Arab. So I'm preparing ugali. This ugali is made of uh, maize flour, mm, millet, and uh, sorghum, and uh, cassava, all that. Yeah. So I poured some flour here, so I'm going to stir. Come and see. Yes, this is how you cook it. I think it's too dry, I'll have to add some water. So I'll leave it to boil. Ouch, ouch. <laughs> it's so hot. There's a lot of fire. Wow, the ugali is over. Here is our ugali. It's kind of yellow. I think it's burnt. I think the food is ready now, the skumawiki. Let me have a test. My hands are not clean, so I'll have to wash first. So I'm going to have ugali and uh, skumawiki. As you can see, there is some avocado here. So we blend in the avocado to the skumawiki. And this is my ugali. Even after mom left, I was not able to rest because there was work after work after work. In between, I got some free time. I'm going to spend that free time with the kids. With all his infinite wisdom, my little brother decided that he was going to show me Newton's third law of motion. Action and reaction are equal forces but opposite to each other, as you can see. That's right, right? Let's move to the evening part. Now it's time to clean the homestead. So we want to burn this grass right now. Spending time with these kids reminded me of one thing. Live today, not tomorrow. Because tomorrow is never gonna. There is nothing selfless as the love of a child. There's a lot you can learn from children. The kids are so much loving it. So much, so much. Twenty to show me, Cindy. Yes. Later on. I'm so tired, but 
I still have some work to do, so I just have to continue. When my mom learned that I was not working but playing Newton Stud Law, she came back. <laughs> so this is cassava. This one we are going to prepare for supper today. Stopping the cassavas, I asked myself, maybe mom is not from this universe. Maybe she's an extraterrestrial intelligence. What I mean is that, look at how she's chopping those cassavas. Here they are. Now what remains, I'll go and bring some banana leaves and I'll cover them with, then fill it with water to the brim. You can still eat this without cooking. Yeah, delicious. We have the knife. I'm going to use this knife to cut the banana leaf so that I can cover the cassava. Yeah, follow me. Later on in the day, the heavens and the waters of Lake Victoria, which is of course the second largest lake in the world, decided I was not going to have a rest. It rained, of all things, it rained. Now again, I had to do what? I had to fetch water. I think I will report this to the Supreme Being next time. It rained, there was even more work, but this time the work was for my brother. Whew. Thank you for listening. Bye!